Hello and welcome to a new MA Tips video. We have many different ways to customize objects in the GrandMA3 software. Let's have a look at some possibilities now. The design of the new GrandMA3 software is very gray and flat to have not that many colors in it. Therefore, the user can decide himself where he wants to use which colors. And therefore, scribbles, images and appearances are very important. They are good to customize our objects, so we can decide where we want to have which colors or which appearances. Furthermore, especially scribbles are very good to use as an alternative solution to label our objects. Let's make a short example of a position preset. So I take my spots over here, turn them on, and we just make a position with the follow mode in 3D, something like this, and we store this as a position preset. Now we can start to label it but we can also use the scribbles to give this preset object a very customized appearance. So we take the scribble symbol in our internal keyboard and the scribble area will open where we can create a new scribble. So we have some colors to choose. For example, this, we have um, the possibility to, to choose the thickness of our lines. And then we have an area where we can just tap with our finger and draw something in there. So this could look like this. I try to draw some nice arrows over here, so which represent my position. Then we apply this and you can see that we labeled our position preset with a scribble now. What is really useful is the scribble pool, where all of our scribbles which we created are automatically stored, so we can reuse them anytime again. Beside the scribbles, as already mentioned, you find images and appearances. Let's, for example, create an appearance. You will find some predefined appearances in the appearance pool, which can be used for fixtures, views, menus, users, and so on. But now we create an old one, so we edit a new object. And then you can find that you can use an image for the appearance, um, define the image color, and we can define a background color. So we move up the alpha channel to 100% and then just choose a color in our color picker over here and say this is the appearance, for example, for my spots, which is named spots then, and I close the window. So I can use my new appearance now, for example, to, to assign it to my group spots. And you can see that I can colorize my objects very easy in this way. So you can use those possibilities to customize your objects, to have an alternative solution of labeling your objects, and to define some structure, especially in your pools, when you use different appearances for different purposes.